All right, welcome back to your 2.1 video, okay? So you just got finished looking at that word problem about Jamie, and I asked you to draw some sort of representation that would represent what's happening in that word problem, and then I asked you to solve it, okay? So let's think about it. Hmm, we know we're getting ready to start subtraction. And subtraction means I need to count backwards, okay? But could, did you know that you can always count forwards as well when you're subtracting? Yeah, I've actually found that counting forward and subtracting instead of backwards helps me. So, Miss Elliot, what are you talking about I can count forward when I subtract? Well, let me show you. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to use a number line, and in my head, I've kind of got like this imaginary number line counting forward, okay? So we know the problem is 634, that was the total amount of miles that she had to travel to get to Grandma's, and we knew on the first day she traveled 319 of those miles. And what we have to figure out is how many miles do they have left to travel to get to grandma's, okay? So I just told you, I kind of count forward. It's easier for me. Counting backwards is a little bit more challenging for me, but it may be something that's easy for you, okay? So this is just one strategy that you could use. There's plenty more, all right? So I'm gonna draw that imaginary number line that I have in my head. And I know that I wanna get to 634. That is my ending destination. That is to grandma's house. And I know that on the first day, I have traveled 319 of those miles. And so this number line is gonna help me figure out how many more miles do I need to travel to reach my final destination of grandma's house of 634 miles. So now I'm gonna start here with what I've already traveled and I'm going to count forward, okay? So I wanna make this a friendly number, all right? So I'm gonna go from 319 up to 320 because numbers that end in a zero, those are called our friendly numbers. They are easy to add, okay? So how long, how many miles does it take me to get from 319 to 320? It's got to count up 319, 320, one mile, okay? So that's my first hop, I'm going forward. And I got to keep hopping until I get to 634. So I can see that I could keep doing small hops. I could, but remember we've talked about last week how we want to make sure that our strategy is clear and concise. That means if someone were to look at your paper, at what you're doing, they would be able to figure it out. And you would have the least amount of steps, so that way you wouldn't be confused. So I'm going to jump some hundreds, because I'm going to go from 300 all the way to 600. Now, so if I add 100 to this 320, then I get 420. But I want to go bigger than that, okay? So I want to go from 320 all the way over to 620. Now, from 320 to 620, I would have to add 300 miles. Hmm. Well, not there yet. I've still gotta go 634. So I'm gonna keep with my friendly numbers, numbers that end in zero. So I'm gonna go from 620 to 630. How many miles does it take us to get from 620 to 630? Think about it. 20, 30, that is a group of 10. But I'm still not there because this is 630 and I need to get to 634. So how many more miles do I have to go to get from 630 to 634? Hmm. If you said four, the answer is correct. So it takes me four miles to get to 634. Now that still hasn't given me an answer, okay? It still doesn't let me know how many miles does it take to get to grandma's after that first day of traveling. So now what I have to do is I have to take these four numbers up top and I have to add them, okay? 
So that one's pretty easy. So let's see, we have 300 plus 310, that's 310, plus 310 plus, three, uh, plus 4, and that's 314. But wait, 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 don't forget this one. So 314 plus one more mile is what? You said 315, then that's exactly right. So they still have left 315 miles to travel, probably on that next day, to get to Grandma's house. Now this is just one strategy, okay? Tune in for the next video when I'm going to show you another strategy that probably is gonna look familiar with addition where we broke our numbers apart. All right, tune in for the next video. Bye for now.